Okay, I think I fixed the problem I was having before. All right, FF6 is ready. Let's uh, let's pull it up. There we go. Hito, I was uh <laughs> I was telling my sister in Columbus when I was visiting this past weekend about you and uh she said I should send you to her. She's a hairdresser. Just let me know and I'll hook you up. Shoot me a message. If I can get a refer somebody to my sister, I have succeeded on Twitch. Alright, so we just got Mog. Oh, that's exciting. Black belt for sure. Who do we ditch? Black belt Hermes sandals? Yeah. <laughs> Should give you a good deal. Alright, so I think what we're supposed to do now, we've got Mog in the party, we're supposed to go to the Land of the Espers. Don't know if there's anything we can do before then that's optional. I guess we could go to the Velt and get Gao some rages, but I don't really have any interest in using Gao anytime soon. We can try to get some more items from Domo. Let me do that. Chat. Oh, they're still here. It might need to be way, way, way later that we can come back and actually get that stuff again. I'll just go ahead and go to the Land of the Espers then. Suspicious. Seems a little like a trap, yeah. Get this unlocked at a later time. Okay, D-Rock, I've seen a bit. listen to the music because I guess anyone who's a video game audio file has probably heard lots of uh, FF6 or really any of Final Fantasy. Nabu Amatsu is amazing. I get the ultimate weapon. Yeah, so the music that's playing in this cave is uh, notably 7-8 time. Probably give Mog an uh, Esper. Yeah, thanks. Glad to be back.
pretty sure... Well, we could go out and try to get the rest of his dances. Not a big deal, though. Ooh, confuse. Not a fan of that. Oh, shit. Alright. Don't want to use the blood sword in here. If you're wondering why the hell did uh, Locke kill himself there. Oh, this is really bad. Crap, man. <laughs> Locke has a sword called the Blood Sword. That's actually going to work out well for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, those enemies are undead. Undead enemies, when you use a drain effect on them, it's the reverse. It's similar like when you cure them, it's the reverse. Let's give him some kind of Esper. Maduin seems great. Kieran would be good too. Let's go with Kieran. Kieran! Yeah, so basically, we lucked out there because he was confused, or Terra was confused, and she used Cure on the enemy. Uh, which normally would be a good thing, but because the enemy was undead, it meant that they took damage and died. Alright, so I'm gonna stop back at a town right quick. Stay at the inn. Maybe sub out that blood sword as cool as it is most of the time. I know, right, Sanguine? Kirin Ichiban! Number one! Kirin's one of uh, many creatures from Japanese mythology. If it doesn't show up in Okami later, I'll be shocked. I don't think we've seen a Kirin in that game yet, though. Way to in at. If could get to that top barrel, I bet you there'd be something in it, but just for show. I don't know, not that we've run into so far. I guess Orochi's more of a uh, Hydra. I also don't know what's in Okami Den. Keep an eye out for it. I wouldn't be shocked if Okami has the, the five directional deities. Suzaku, Genbu, uh, Byako, and... Fifth one is like the center dragon whose name I can never remember. Right, Hito, you got it. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> uh, how about? Instead, give you this Assassin's Dagger, which would be really great. Big fan of dispatching an enemy in a single hit. And we'll give the Blood Sword to someone who has the option of attacking regularly. Has to have spears, yeah. That works. Is it Shinryu? Huh. That's another mythological. Uh, Japanese dragon, but I didn't realize it was the dragon of the center. Alright, so she should cast her fire. Oh, and she has rays. That's good to know. Aw oh, man, he absorbs fire too? It's breaking the undead rules there. I 
Undead should be weak against Holy and Fire most of the time. Kazakiri, it's like a uh, light or wind something or other. Would have to be a weapon. Ah, may I invoke a Razor Gale, so it's a uh, katana for my dude Scion to use. Everything in here must be undead. Let me get rid of that sword. I guess we could do this. Not great, but they're nothing. Better than having Terra kill herself. Shinryu's a spirit dragon. Shinryu's a frequent boss in Final Fantasy as well. I think it's the one of the bosses in Final Fantasy X, the undead dragon. The really hard underwater fight where, like, if you're clever about it. You just use a phoenix down on it and that kills it. Thirty MP. Huh? Yeah, 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 I remember that one now. Better Gogans, good to have you. Thanks for hanging out. I'm not entirely sure what governs this area. I don't want to fall in there though. Hey, yeah, good to be back. Later, man. So many undead dudes, man. guy in the front. Ah, just missed. Ouch. Shit. Game's not screwing around. Nice. The, the random battles are what make this tough. Although I... I might actually be able to go back and get the Moogle charm. Actually, I think I want to do that. Let me, uh... Let me get out of here first. Yeah, I think I can. I think it's where you go to where Mog is usually standing. I don't remember if you need to have him in your party or not. But I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do. I 
think I have like an exit or a teleport stone, so we can just walk out of here. New effort is getting to do something. Get a few more uh, dances for Mog while we're out too. Poison rod, huh? That's pretty cool. Pretty sure you can use that to like cast Bio Three or something. Nice parry. Nice. Poison rod, very nice. Alright, going to Narshi, grabbing a Moodle Charm, and yeah, we're coming back. Maybe stop it in the desert real quick. few more of these uh, dances for Mog. So I believe if we go in and go to where Mog usually is, as long as he's in our party we get the Moodle Charm, which makes it so you have no random battles, which is awesome. Random battles are kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Stan Marsh the Darsh from, from Narsh. So we're gonna want to get into battles sometimes, but there are certain like areas and puzzles where it's helpful to not have random battles. I really liked about Bravely Default that you could dynamically change the encounter rate. You just go in the menu and turn off encounters if you're trying to do a dungeon kind of a thing. Or double it if you were trying to level up. Mm, yeah, you could do that too. <laughs> do it the hard way with raw RNG manipulation. I know they do that in the FF7 playthrough. So the step counter is the seed for random battle RNG. I think I just have this path memorized. Spritzer. One more fight before we can say farewell. I'll just turn it on and eat it. Come on. Am I crazy? I thought you got the Moogle Charm by going here. Is it only in like the world of ruin, maybe? I'm gonna have to look it up here in a sec, that's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> this song is sweet. Let's see, uh, Google Charm. Google's Amulets.
Only in the world of ruin, no shit. Alright. Okay. I thought you could get it sooner than that, but... Turns out I was sorely mistaken. Do I have any teleport stones? No. Alright, we'll just walk out of here and stuff out of we'll walk. Keep Mog at the front, though, because he's the best. <laughs> it's going to be our, like, first target, though, as soon as we uh, get to the World of Ruin, we'll come here. We'll do puzzles in peace. Any NPC from any FF in my party? Damn, that's a good question. How big is the party? Is it four or five? Or three, I guess. Hey, Phallix! How's it going, man? And I have one of the ribbons. I was mistaken and thought I could get the Moogle term sooner. Shit, four party members. I'll have to go with Orin as one of them. VV. Probably nobody from seven. Maybe Celis? See, we don't really need a magic representative if we've got VV. I have a balanced party, like one from each of the classical realms, right? With black mage, white mage, fighter, thief, so lock, uh, F6. That leaves a uh, primary healer. It's the best Final Fantasy healer. My favorite Final Fantasy healer. We're gonna get mogs some uh, dances. Oh, NPCs only? I thought you meant playable characters. My bad. Should learn to read. Yeah, that's harder. I'd have to think harder about that. Give me a little bit. Alex, did you finish your 100% FF6 playthrough? <laughs> Four SIDs. I like that plan. Tactics count? I guess a lot of the SIDs are playable though, so you can't do FF4 SID or FF7 SID. You have to do Body Condom SID from 6, uh, Library SID, Five, maybe. Probably do without him. Robin Williams Sid from eight. Al Bed Sid from ten. Although I'd probably take like Oglop or Frog Sid over Al Bed Sid. So why don't we go with a uh, Robin Williams Body Condom? Oglop Sid slash Frog Sid. And I'll bet Sid. You go with Litor Chicken and not like Basilisk? A few times I've disagreed with the translation of this one. There's two dances. Let me still get the forest dance. There's a unique dance for the 
Veldt. I'm trying to remember the other dance areas. Forest is one, cave. There's like a town dance. get a dance. I think I do if I just do a battle and use the other kind of dance. Do NPCs include villains or like allied NPCs like you know, Robin Williamson. Cindy, the MAGA sisters, FF4. I'm happy with being right now. Let's just, let's just do this thing. Oh, yeah, chicken steaks. It's a capture glitch, Felix. I haven't heard of that. Anyone not normally in your party. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. I'm down with Sid being a girl. Feels like I would like to have a Zelda game where the bearer of the Triforce of Courage is a female. Welcome back. I haven't had any capture problems. Gamer Freak! My friend! Good to see ya. Oh shit, I didn't mean to have her attack. I'll pick her up. Doing alright? Been a while? Huh, that's weird, Felix. I don't know. I have a couple fixes on this uh, ROM. Like, I have the graphics glitch. Or not glitch, I guess, but uh, the, the game palette has been restored to the SNES style since they made it way, way, way more bright and saturated. So it's uh, hard to see on the dark GBA screen. I have a sound patch and a uh, something else. Mostly just the sound and graphics, though. Go go lock. Study this a little bit. Pages chit. Which tote sounds like a, a shadow, maybe? I need to ditch that blood sword, man. Has really been doing us too many uh, favors. What 
was fun while it lasted. Let's go with, uh, well, Ice Brand, I guess, since there's that one enemy that absorbs fire damage. Talking about the Philips CDI games. I'm talking about a core game. There's still some speculation that the uh, Link that you're playing as in uh, Zelda Wii U is a female. Not 100% confirmed. Oh, there's a female. Guys, don't let me miss the ultimate weapon. <laughs> I know it's in here, but I don't think I remember exactly where it is, so. Don't let me screw this up. saying like the best of the CDI games you have the least infectious STD still shouldn't be celebrating I do my chronological Zelda playthrough. <laughs> I wonder if as an encore I should at least play, you know, 20 minutes or so of each of the CDI games. SP. Q is close to a P. I don't accrue them myself. <laughs> See somebody just joined? Welcome, good to have you. God, I hope that the... <laughs> pretty sure the CDI game has been declared non-canonical. If they're canonical, then the TV show is canonical. Pretty bad. I don't know if anyone's seen it. The Super Mario Fun Show. This is America. We take our Zelda canon very seriously. TV show is the one where Link was like, Well, excuse me, princess. I'm sure that, like, the optimization community would say that Mog is not an optimal character, but <laughs> is there an optimal dance to use, I wonder? If you're going to use him, what's his best dance? Twilight Requiem seems pretty good for the most part, except when it does that. I don't want that to happen.
Doesn't matter. Amulet. Blind is still glitched in the GBA version. Not that this matters, but hey, why not? So I got in a pretty big battle with my wife over what Moogles are. I said that they're like cats with bat wings and a pom pom, and she thinks they're more like bears. I say cats. I could hear both arguments though. Alright, see you in a bit, gamer. Kevin has the potential to be really good. I think ultimate weapon's up here, right? Maybe. This might be something else. No, it's in this dungeon. We're not gonna go along to the land of the Espers until we get it. Get it, Terra. So go back to Drock's question, which I think is a good one, which is: you could have a party of characters made up only of NPCs, so non-playable characters. I would exclude villains from that list. You can get too many people, including. Some of the obvious ones, like, uh... Sephiroth would be in every party if you could include Sephiroth. You need to find, like, cool NPCs from the Final Fantasy games that you'd like to have in your party. Each people's 10%, you may as well keep that one. Bismarck, still working on Raze. Save to Kieran. Hey, welcome back, gamer. The fact that I didn't come back here is suspicious. <laughs> uh, Bahamut Zero, Bahamut Fury, Neo Bahamut. It's a humanoid. So we should make the rules, like, no villains, uh, well, let, let, I'll back that up, no super-powered characters. So you could have a villain, like, I'd be fine with having Gilgamesh in my party, for example, because he's not, like, super-powered. You can't, like, have Kefka or, like, Sephiroth or that kind of thing. There pretty soon if we don't find a save point. And not much. We're talking about suppose you could have a party of Final Fantasy characters, four people. You can pick from any NPC you like from the Final Fantasy series. With the exception of you can't have super powered characters. And we'll have to fiat the side whether they're actually super powered or not, but.
I would argue that like Bahamut is super powered, for example. Genji gloves. Double Genji gloves. The other one should probably go to Mog. Not really doing it. well. As soon as we equip that, yeah. She's not really countering all that often, so. I got another trident. We can go any RPG. Gamers, you can throw like Earthbound and uh, Pokemon in there. Could be an NPC though. <laughs> like Condom Sid and the Impresario. Now, General Leo counts as con as playable though, right? He is in your party very briefly. Okay, maybe he can replace the impresario. The impresario just has like a face palm attack. <laughs> sure, Ito. If we're assuming that we can cross the game universes, then we have like Hojo's cloning power. So instead of focusing on Sephiroth clones, maybe he makes Condom Sid clones. Maybe it should be Terra that gets the Genji Glove. She's the most likely to physically attack as we currently have it oriented. I'll switch that out after this battle. Ah, bollocks. Bad mug. And then your money bags. How's it going? Good to see you. That's a pretty sweet party, Professor Oak, Doctor Anonitz, and Booster. I think you want to go for like a theme party. Brand ice brand, rune blade ice brand for now. Ooh, it's... I kind of want to use. So you can do that. Let's just do that. Oh yeah, it was a delight to visit a lot of old friends. Glad to be back with Twitch though. In the future, I'll probably do like continue to stream uh, while I'm out of town for an abbreviated amount of time, or run reruns or something. <laughs> hey, Burn. X-Death, Ifrit, Atonberry, Titus? Ghost Titus. You're not playing as actual Titus, you're playing as, like, the, the inspiration for Titus. The guy who existed in the distant past or something. Titus. I still say Titus because of uh, Kingdom Hearts mispronouncing it. Come on, snare. Alright. Okay. That's what I want to see. That's a solid party. Square should make this into like a mini game. Pile a party from typically non playable characters.
Yep, I did. I've got the video up on uh, the YouTube if you want to check it out. Well, I I wasn't at full health, I think, when I went for the Shoryuken. And uh, before somebody found out that I could just use an energy tank, I had already moved along. I'm not doing the ridiculously hard part to get to the Shoryuken again. <laughs> but yeah, I did I did 100% and I got all the energy tanks and stuff. Yeah, there's enough squirrels in the Final Fantasy games. Good thought experiment. Hey, Phallix, if you're still in chat, um, I'll be giving Final Fantasy XIV a try for the first time next week Wednesday. I don't know if you have any tips for a complete newbie. I have never turned it on. I played a lot of Final Fantasy XI, but I don't know how helpful, if helpful at all, that will be to me. I like Tony Picky Frank in every red. Game Boy Advance struggling to keep up there. Cave is one of the longer dungeons in this game, I'd say. It feels that way, I'm not totally true. Let's double check everybody's situation. Okay, you don't have death yet, you're getting there. Although, we're never gonna use death. One of those abilities that sounds really cool but doesn't work on the enemies that would actually be convenient on. Haste might be there, so that one has the haste boots. Bismarck. I would not start with number one, Ninja. Um, one hasn't aged particularly well, even if you're playing a remake. I would say six is probably a good introduction to the series. Uh, or if you can get a, any of the remakes of four, any of the re-releases are fine. I personally prefer the sprite graphic style to the 3D style, but you can get the 3D remake of four as well. Four, five, and six are all very, very good games, though. The reason I recommend that you try to find any re-release of four other than the original Super Nintendo release is that uh, the original Super Nintendo release in the United States was extremely hard. It might turn you off to the game. Like OG FF1 at a Super Boss. The problem with starting with six is that it's uh, it's all downhill from there, baby. <laughs> that seems like pretty good singing. I didn't even think about Siegfried. Actually, um. So my wife is uh, spoiled by modern games, right? I wanted to get her into Final Fantasy, and 10 was a very good choice for that purpose. Uh, if you don't mind sprite graphics, then absolutely take a step back in time and do 4, 5, and 6 in any order. I think all of them are good. Uh, but 10 is a very good introduction to Final Fantasy.
tactics uh, tactics is apples and oranges I think it uh, depends what you want out of the game tactics is so different from the rest of Final Fantasy really it shares in common like chocobos and certain summons and spell names and classes but other than that it's it's its own game Yeah, when I do, so we're $24 away, by the way, from the live Beat Sprite tutorial. I have that as a donation incentive because it'll take me about a week of preparation to get everything ready, get a second camera trained to show everything. Maybe we'll do some Final Fantasy VI sprites, like a Siegfried sprite would be pretty cool. Siegfried's an optional boss that shows up a couple times in Final Fantasy VI. You run into him in the Phantom Train, he like interrupts you when you're opening a chest. And he's also a opponent in the Colosseum in the World of Ruin. Oh. Bet if they uh, retranslated it, they'd call the Warmech uh, Omega Weapon. They can go back and retcon. Yeah, Ninja, after further thought, I would say you should start with 10. It's an unconventional recommendation, but if you've never played a Final Fantasy before, it'll ease you into the series. It has a lot of the conventions of modern games, like voice acting. If that can sell you on it, then uh, you'll be ready to go. I had that Moogle turn, man. Although I'm getting some necessary levels, I haven't really done any level grinding at all so far. It's just kind of filling that role for me. It's gonna deal with whoever hits. <laughs> Alright, Burner, that's pretty good. <laughs> Phantom Train as a character. Everybody else is riding on him. Yeah, I know a lot of people who don't like 10. My thing with 10 is that I didn't like it and didn't appreciate it when I played it the first time, but it's the only Final Fantasy where every time I play it, I like it better than the last time. It's a good story and it's to be appreciated. I think that it is, like, overwhelmingly the number one Final Fantasy of Japanese gamers. Which is interesting. It might be because it has such an Asian-y feel to it whereas the rest of the FFs are more like Western, Victorian, medieval fantasy. Yeah, Sanguine, that's a big part of the problem. Just a little bit. Hey, Ryan Depot, how's it going? Good to see you, it's been a while. Titus is easier to tolerate on additional playthroughs, though, I find. Oh, wow! Ninja Money Bags, thank you for the donation. Let me give you your sure points. That was very kind. You want to send those toward uh, the Beat Spray tutorial? Sec, guys. I think once you have the context of, like, what happens in 10, what happens at the end of 10, the fact that, like, the first 75% of 10 is in flashback, you can appreciate Titus a little bit more. He's certainly less angsty than, like, Cloud or Squall or among the angstiest Final Fantasy characters, main protagonists.
Alright, so Edgar's good on Esper's. Yeah, thanks again, man. Um, the three projects are D&D Game with Viewers, Live Beat Spread Tutorial, and Live uh, D&D Sprite Tutorial. And right now, the 6 to Sprite, or the Beat Spriting, get it to 32. I can just assign it to that if you want. Let's see. How about something that actually teaches something? Well, what if he trades with somebody? Let's look at the other options. Unicorn. Still working on Dispel Protective Shell. Kieran. Trade somebody. Just Kieran. No, I don't want to Kieran. Why don't we just go with, uh... I'm gonna go with Phantom. MP up. He didn't finish Bismarck, though, did he? Oh, he almost did, but I can switch that just yet. Two fans. Cool. Yeah, I'm down with Zell. He is a little try-hard, but... Best tent. Least favorite Final Fantasy party member, uh, Squall. I think I have to think about that too hard. I'm talking like not protagonist. Who's really annoying? Never beat 13. Squall is selfish and angsty, I don't like it. I don't like angst in my characters. So I like Zidane so much in 9, because he's just happy-go-lucky. That Vaughn... Vaughn's a frustrating character. All the treasure buried in the ground beneath the big stairway. Amarant's pretty angsty. He gets better with the game. I don't think I have any problem with any of the characters in 4, 5, or 6. So it wasn't really until 8 that they started to make annoying characters. So I think maybe the correct thing to do is have Block switch now to Catobalfus. And then switch you from Phantom to Bismarck. Okay. Cool. Hmm, repetitive in what sense though? the battles can be a little repetitive. The big problem is if you over-level, you get to a point where nothing is challenging anymore. Schedule update, we're doing Final Fantasy 6 for another one hour, and Final Fantasy 7 from 4 to 6 for 
probably going to get to disc 2. Disc 3, I mean. Very close. Go ahead and do that, maybe clean up some more side quests. Maybe do some more chocobo racing. So I do that on a weekend. Don't know if the time will present itself. Now, Yuffie's kind of irritating. <laughs> I have a problem with Shadow leaving my party after having been in it for like four minutes. Chill out, dude. Let's see, who's a personality, a dude's personality that you wouldn't like? Can't be Locke, he's like the number one treasure hunter. I like that in the GBA version they gave him classes. Yeah, Edgar was my guess. Uh, Womanizer. It sets her then? I don't know. 293 gil, that's it. Alright guys, I give up. Where's the ultimate weapon? <laughs> I know it's in here somewhere, and I really don't want to miss it. Oh, I might be getting close to it. Yeah, sets her. Get in the back, get in the back, get in the back! Ah. old man archetype wins out over the flying gambler. The blue mage realms grandpa. Get the one in the back! Get the one in the back! Nice. Master Roshi. Science school. Hmm. Yeah, science the samurai from Doma. Downs we're getting. No, that's Screw this up. I don't want to screw this up. I don't remember what order I have to press the switches in in order to get the ultimate weapon.
No, I should be okay. I think I figured it out. I just don't want to accidentally miss something. We actually wanted to avoid that switch. Let's see if we'll be okay. Might be. I think it's in that little room down there. Kepka's the best, man. He's just a psychopath. Sets her. I just like sure. It summons a random Esper, I think. Seems like it's correct to use Chainsaw on one of those guys. It's just Save the zombie dragon for last. He might actually do some damage against him, I don't think he's immune to fire. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> uh, I guess all the Moogles were doing it when you first get him in your party. Now, this might be the correct way to fight these guys, because that way there are fewer things that can ruin the attempt. Kill those two dudes first, and then pretty good chance that Dance is going to do something that will actually hurt the zombie dragon. As I was saying, pretty good chance of actually killing the zombie dragon. Not be the best thing to use against these guys, but that's not good. Snare and Caven are good on them, though, so. Two out of three is not bad. Ultimate weapon, there we go. Nice. Terra, I think. Bound the wielder's hit points. Well, 
That said, how's she doing? She's working on protectant shell. Anybody else have protectant shell? Carbuncle does. Do that. Gives someone else a chance to use unicorn. Kieran. How you doing? Better rate of Kira. Also teaches Asuna. Nothing else worth learning, though. Set upgrades. Although, I would like to get more HP for Terra so that the ultimate weapon does more damage. of the ultimate weapon sword is longer and longer, uh, depending on the hit points you have when you attack with it. Still does decent damage even if you're not super high on HP. <laughs> Pretty good wall! And when we do the uh, Beat Sprite tutorial, we're now $18 away from. Whatever beat sprites I make, I'll put them on the wall. I'll have to find some good ones. I don't have any FF6 sprites. Uh, most of the ones that I had, uh, I made with some people, had them come over and they have them in their apartments. Pretty cool Kepka sprite, Cyan sprite. Looking Edgar Sprite. Eed. Made out of uh, perler beads. And if you Google Reddit bead sprites, there's a pretty good subreddit. It's sorted by top rated of all time. See some of the crazy stuff people have done with it. Oh, just regular humanoid Kefka. I haven't done. Let me see if I can find the the one somebody's. Someone's done like the Kefka Tower. It would be a terrifying project to attempt. Hundred and forty four thousand beads. <laughs> Check that out. Good God. You got a really good ironing job on them too, which is not trivial. <laughs> right? <laughs> you see how small these guys are. That was probably six months of work if he was working on it once a day. It would be something where you wouldn't... You'd have to keep it somewhere where if you have like pets that they can stay away from it because it would easily screw it up. Unless if you like, you could like iron one panel per day, because once it's ironed, it's fine. The hard part, though, would be melting all of the panels together when you're done. See you, Ninja Money Bags. Thanks again for popping in. Thanks for your kind donation. Put it towards the bead sprite tutorial. Yeah, I'd buy that too, no kidding. <laughs> I wanted to do, let me see if I can find it. Uh... Nestros map. I looked into it.
but it would be so many beads and require so much time. And it would actually be like, I, want, I think it ended up being like seven feet tall, so there's nowhere we could actually put it in our apartment right now if I were to make that. Maybe when I'm old and retired and live in a mansion. <laughs> uh, I got Mog in my party, he's an optional character. You can get him in Narshi. Really bad shit is happening, son. That's true. Could just not have the oceans around it. That would be pretty painful to do. Well, it would be easy. You could just basically fill all of it in, do an outline of the continent, fill the rest of it in with blue, and then replace where it needed with the waves. After you can get him and his um, Sasquatch, that's the word for it, Umaro, and Narshi. You can only get Mog at this point, but if you come in the World of Ruin, there's a chance to get him again. So you have to go to Narshi, go in the room with the guy who's uh, picking the treasure chests, and then chase him up to where the Esper was. Doesn't seem like the best idea. Duck. Bahamut. Fenrir. Shiva look like. Kieran. Cool. Skull Gate. Question, where did the espers go? Probably a good idea. Be really nice is a shortcut to get the hell out of here, which I think that actually is. Ultimate weapon leveled up. I guess there's a, they call it an Atma weapon in Final Fantasy XIV. Spelled the same way as it was originally in Super Nintendo. The ultimate weapon's pretty great. It's, it's the best weapon in the game uh, until you upgrade it to the Illumina. There we go. 
god. Man, that was the most, like, battles we've done. That was about an hour and 20 minutes of battles. Every other Final Fantasy VI uh, event, we've gotten pretty far in our time allotted. Uh-oh. Not a fan of that. Let's be honest. Oh, you know what would be really great? Is if we killed ourselves because of confuse here. <laughs> The last time we saved was a long time ago. Okay, we're not at risk of murdering ourselves this yet. Pretty close though. Let's get that guy out of here, yeah? back in about 45 seconds or so. Yeah, I own just about all these games, if not all these games, but it's much more convenient to uh, stream from an emulator, particularly in the case of like games that are not uh, on systems that use HDMI and portable systems. This is a Game Boy Advance game. It is a pain in the butt to stream from portable systems, although I do have a capture card on order for the DS, and uh, hopefully we'll be getting it within the next two or three weeks, maybe? Add some more games in that case. DS, I can't see my titles from here. <laughs> it might just be easiest to tell you what games I have for the DS. Oh, well, let me fight this real quick. I can go look at it real quick. I want a lot of DS games. Ended up being a really good system at the end of the day. They're ruining our airship. So crash by vector, yeah.
is a cool way to handle this like crashing animation. I appreciate the way they handled cutscenes back in the days of those sprites. R.I.P. airship indeed. Like how they just like colored the background green. Same as the Mogu Mogu sound effect. One of these guys heals me, right? Why don't we grab a teleport stone? A couple of them. And I'm fine with everything else. Yep, so we're, we're totally all the way out by Vector. Alright, so DS games, right? Let me just look at it real quick. Tell you what I've got, Hito. Uh, let's see. Uh, Professor Layton, Trauma Center, more Professor Layton, Zelda, Phantom Hourglass, Super Mario, 64, 3DS, uh, Kirby, Squeak Squad, Super Princess Peach, Medios, World Ends With You, Kirby Canvas Curse, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, Super Scribble Knots, Animal Crossing, Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon White, Mario Kart DS, Tetris DS, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Ring of Fates, Kingdom Hearts 358 divided by two days, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra for the DS. And I got Xenoblade, but I'm waiting on the new 3DS capture kit to play it. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the 3DS, new Yoshi's Island, Ocarina of Time 3D, Bravely Default, Mario Kart 7, Pokemon X, Layton and the Miracle Mask, uh, Mario and Luigi, Superstar Games. A lot of good DS games. Yeah, the uh, Ultima Weapon is awesome because it does damage according to your current hit point total. I think is what he was asking. I've reminded my cat now of the existence of my games case, so he's going over there and knocking them down. Just to be a jerk. Let me sprint him real quick. Yeah, man, most of those DS games were in the <laughs> pre-marriage, pre-girlfriend phase where I had a lot of expendable income and a singular hobby. All of my extra money went into video games. A little bit more discerning in my purchases these days. It's the ultimate weapon burner. It's because it does damage according to your hit point total. So if you can get your HP up to like 9,999, it does max damage with every hit. Also, the raw stats on it are very high. I mean, look at Terra. I've got it on the screen right now. The attack on it is 375, the next best weapon she has is 240, it's a pretty huge jump. Yeah, ultimate weapon is both a boss and a uh, an item that you equip. They're both called Atma weapon in the Super Nintendo version because they didn't have enough characters to type out the word Ultima, but it's supposed to be Ultima weapon for both of them. Go on his face! Way to go, Mog. Come on, buddy. Ultima Weapon is also a boss in uh, any of the other Final Fantasy games after 6. And you should be good. You just probably want to equip it on somebody. Alright, mastered a new dance. That's my jam. And go buy some more tents. So 
they're kind of expensive. It's a regular item shop here, yeah? Get some vector. It's uh, the brigand glove. <laughs> Thanks, Apex. I agree. My uh, dude, Mog. So, Apex, earlier I was mentioning that I'm sure that Mog is not like actually the best character in the game like a speedrun perspective since uh, there's so much RNG involved with dance. However, do you know is there an ideal dance? If you're going to use him, what's his best dance? Yeah, Sanguine, I'm going to have to buy RPG Maker VX Ace. Uh, I got it from my nephew, Jaden, who's in Twitch chat every now and then. Uh, he's been doing some cool stuff with it, but it would be good to use it just for mapping in Dungeons and Dragons, because you can easily make a map in RPG Maker and then just screenshot it and paste it into Roll20. It's really nice, very clean UI for mapping in general. The Brigand Glove... Hmm. We got it shortly after we got the Thief's Glove. I'm trying to remember where we found it. Yeah, just Google Final Fantasy VI Brigand's Glove. What's the site? Oh no, what's that, Sanguine? <laughs> I made a game with RPG Maker way back in the day. I used to be super Christian when I was a kid. Not anymore. But I uh, made a game about... Paul, the Apostle, before he was Paul the Apostle, using RPG Maker 95. I think it's still floating on the internet somewhere. It's called Quest of the Apostles. Water Dance. Maybe that's the one I should go for then. That's, uh, I have to go to, like, the Serpent Trench in order to unlock that, right? So I'm already too late. Because the airship's busted. No kidding, Hito. Wait, are you serious, Apex? Am I too late to go back to Serpent Trench and get it now that the airship's busted? I think the airship fixes itself, though, before um, the world of ruin. I don't think I'm totally screwed. Yeah, no, I thought so. Yeah, I'm still in World of Balance. It is, it is the Serpent Trench there, right? Make sure I'm right about that. All right, so I think I remember all the correct answers here in order to get the best item. The highest score, anyway. We'll see how different the translation is here in the GBA version. All right, so we'll go score that before we go to the floating continent then. These dudes totally look like the Empire's Guard in uh, Star Wars. All right, so we want to talk to as many guards as possible don't want to talk to Kefka. He takes forever. It's like 20 seconds lost on the timer.
Disappointed Hapax to learn that uh, you can't get the Moogle Charm in the World of Balance. I could have sworn you could. Would have been really nice in the Sealed Cave. Lots of uh, enemies there. Chill out, bro. I want to go in this room. Alright, fine. Alright. That's so. Not sure on the guard count. Body condom Sid. We want to toast our hometowns. We want to put Kafka in jail. We want to say that poisoning Doma was inexcusable. We want to say the Espers went too far. Uh, we want the Emperor to convince us that his war is over, I think. We have to remember what our first question is. Oh yeah, he has a mustache, you never noticed it on a sprite before. It's one of the ones where you look up his concept art, like Hauser, you can understand better what he's supposed to look like. Yeah, it's a hood, not a body condom. <laughs> the, his new portrait. Glad they gave him one. Yeah, I like this part. Dr. Apex. Shit. Not every guard's happy with me. Hooded body con. Has it really then? Don't have sprint shoes equipped right now, but it's okay. Poop on peace? Screw you, buddy. Sprint shoes. Okay, I'm just just moving along. <laughs> At least he didn't fight me. He's like, got my face. Got my face. Hey, so somebody just joined. Welcome. Good to have you. Poor soldier didn't get to use his magic armor. Good job, buddy. Great. I think we're gonna be able to score 20 guards, not too much trouble. I don't want to talk to Kefka because it takes too much time. 
and you don't get anything for it. This might be Kefka. So I wonder to what extent these guards are putting on a show and it's all just Gestalt being a butt. But we don't want to do this. It's a waste of time. Tough, it turns out. I wonder if the two dudes that are in the Emperor's Hall count. I didn't talk to them. I think those are the last two guys we could possibly talk to anyway. Try to talk to Kefka real quick before the time runs out. Talk to everybody else though. 24 is a pretty good number. I wonder if the scene ends if it's like mid time running out. Look at that. Zero, zero, zero. We ask for us. Remember, that's important. There may have been a 25th soldier. It seems weird that it would be 24. I keep it even here. Hey, look at that cool little hood he's got. He looks like from that portrait. I feel like if they ever make a Final Fantasy VI movie, he should be played by uh, Brian Cranston. I wish you got cashed all. our hometowns. I like how this is testing how political you can be. Leave him in jail. That was inexcusable. Apologize again. Is one of us. Okay, we gotta remember our order. Let's just do them in order. And don't ask them more than once, you get in trouble. Why did you start the wars when we asked first? Angel Asakara? Hmm. Should be good, we've asked each question once. They've gone a bit too far. That's for sure. 29's a cap? Nice.
Yes, gotta take a break. That'd be nice, right, Sid? Sure. There must have been four other ones that I just missed then. Come on, GBA, you can do that sound effect. It's not that hard. Just trying so hard. I never noticed there was a time limit. That's cool. Fourth dude, you didn't even participate in that fight. Uh, I think it's... It's either that you really want peace or that your war is truly over, but I think it's the war one. Political perspective. We're more concerned with the fact that they're not continuing to be aggressive. We want to tell him yes to this one. We ended up having to do it anyway, but. Tint the Nabar is not that big of a deal. I mean, it's kind of nice if you're in an area where you don't. You can't use a tent and there aren't random battles. <laughs> it's nice if you have the Moogle charm because you can run around in circles and heal everyone up to full. So the whole, like, the outpost that blocks the way to the sealed cave was mysteriously empty when they needed us to go there and open it. Just lock and tear. Wish we were unequipped folks, but I think we'll get an opportunity to do that later. Nobody else had anything really important equipped, so it's not a huge deal. But you know, I wonder, is it correct for ultimate weapon to go to you instead, since you're always mugging? Possibly. Yeah, let's keep getting HP up. Just a heads up, in about 10 minutes, I'm going to take a four minute break or so to feed the cats. Quick bio break. We'll start up with Final Fantasy 7. Bar. Oh, 
I think it was called a charm bangle in the original. Yeah, so we were perfect to go gotten all that. Board bangle. Lowers the rate of random encounters. Thank Christ. <laughs> um Why don't we equip that for now? Oh, they already unequipped everybody. That's I'd rather have it on, like, a third-party member. Folks here. Pretty sure the airship's still busted. But we could go to the outpost armory, go check out the other stuff later. Being able to go back into Doma and check all the chests and stuff. Maybe we have to wait till the world of ruin until uh, we can get the cool dream at Doma Castle. Three Stooges. Switch to having the better person in front. Actual shops now. They kind of were before, but Kikuichi Munchi. One of those up for Shadow. We got a bunch of extra money from all those random battles. games. It might be one of the, uh, I forgot what the names of the weapons are in Bleach. Bleach is a pretty cool anime, if you haven't watched it. I'm not a giant anime fan, but uh, it's interesting to watch. The concept is that all of their weapons have a special power hidden inside of them, so it's kind of fun to speculate on what their powers are going to be. And their powers are all like wildly unbalanced. Wakazashi's a short sword. It's like a parrying blade that you use as a backup, right? It's like you have your main katana and then you have like a Wakazashi for parrying in lieu of a shield. So like a, a Psy, it's kind of silly that Raphael uses twin Psy's as his main weapon. Because the Psy is really supposed to be like a sword breaker. Same as a Wakazashi, you use it to parry, catch the enemy's weapon. Not as a weapon itself. The Psy's look sweet as hell, so the rule of cool wins out. Checking all the boxes. Nothing. I already did this when we came here before. Mm hmm. I go make peace on the double. Raph doesn't care. There's a lot of bad could be said for the. Oh, I forget what year it was, but there was an all CG Ninja Turtles movie that went in theaters a little early recently. Four or five years ago, maybe. Best part of it though is the Leo versus Raph fight. It's handled perfectly. 
be a turtles fan, you owe it to yourself to watch it. The shadow? Donatello is the man. <laughs> Corey Feldman. Yep. Uh, Leonardo is frequently voiced by James Arnold Taylor, who is the voice of uh, Titus, among many other things. None of you, Venus to Milo. What's up, Shadow? Oh, great. Sounds good. Later, Hito. Let me know if you get a haircut for my sister. <laughs> Give you a good price. I'll just go ahead and get on the ship. Alright, go stay at the end. Sure. That was a good dude. The RPG ruled no such thing as a free stay at the end. As I said. universally good against undead enemies. In 6 there are a couple enemies that are that absorb fire as well, so I'd use holy like cure magic if you can. But usually they're equal outside of this game. That's on you, Locke. Later, Sanguine. Good to have you. Catch you later. Don't oh, Phoenix dance if there's multiple enemies. Or both if there's one. Pretty good rule in general. So we're gonna finish sailing, get into a fight with a kraken. I threw my shoes at the beast. Much later, someone gets seasick in one of these sequences. Plays that what song? Sure. Okay. What's up, Leo? Is it lock? It's funny. <laughs> Threw my slippers at the beast. I use uh, General Leo for modified sprite in a pretty important scene at the end of the last D&D adventure. 
I think it's still available in the Twitch VODs. I'm still working on getting a version of it uploaded to YouTube and for rebroadcasts. I'll probably start working on the next adventure starting next week. Uh, you're a little bit better than Kafka. How old Terra is? I was assuming she was like 20s, early 20s. As it gets into Tetsuya and Amora territory, most of the main characters are like not even 20. And Cloud's 17. Maybe the Cloud's 18, Eris is 19, and Tifa's 17. Real helpful, buddy. Dramatized South Park puking. I think he does in the GBA version too, it's just not as explicit. He wouldn't say that unless that's what he meant. Are you gonna be a bitch now, Locke? Dude, you a bitch and you know this to be true. Dude, nothing irritates me more in like movies and books when like most of the conflict comes from two characters just not communicating well. It stresses me out, I'm like, oh my god, just say something. Like if they have a comedy where 30% of the movie is, you know, like, the, the main female character sees the main male character hugging somebody else and misinterprets it. It's like, oh my god, just talk to each other. Just fix this. It stresses me out so bad. Alright, so let me uh, get Final Fantasy VI.